Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And no, this is not a review. This is everything I got at the toy show and different locations here in Pittsburgh. So we're doing an epic toy haul video. But first on the list, we're going to look at each and every figure. We'll get the used figures and then the brand new figures. At the toy show, we found a lot of vintage figures. Like, we found this vintage Transformers Generation 1 Silver Bolt. We'll definitely review him. G1 Shrapnel. That's a 1980s figure. A couple 1980s action. We found a 1980s Transformers GoBots tank. I added this gun up here because he's missing his weapons. But other than that, he's mostly complete. Next on the list, we got Cybertron Backstomp. He looks pretty cool. I couldn't believe I found this guy complete without any broken bits. He's missing the cyber key, but otherwise, he's complete. So I'll definitely review him. Next on the list, we got this freebie I found. Someone threw it in the parking lot at my workplace. This is a little bird plush toy. I cleaned it up as good as new. Definitely won't be reviewing that. It's just too simple for me. Next at the toy show, we found a Dragon Ball action figure of Prince Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Kai from the 2000s. Wow. And he's not broken, which is very good for me. I finally have a complete figure of him again without a broken leg problem. Next on the list, we got this figure. I don't know what he's from, but he's some kind of weird gargoyle monster. If any of you know, then leave me a comment on who this guy is. Because I have no clue whatsoever, but he is pretty cool. Next on the list, we got this thing I got from Dollar General. It's a Transformers Optimus Prime for five bucks, and it's Transformers Cybertron Battlers. I have the Megatron, but I don't have the Bumblebee. I'll try to track down him and complete my set of this, and then I'll have to review both of them as a set, Bumblebee and Prime. Next, we got these both from work. I had some leftover money from the toy show. So I got the Grogu car I was missing for my collection and the Mandalorian car. And these were on discount at my workplace at Giant Eagle for three bucks when these were probably six or seven bucks. So not bad. Around six bucks for two Hot Wheels cars. All of those are so awesome, right? Next on the list, some more stuff from the toy show. 15 bucks for G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes movie Baroness. So now I can review this and be done with the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes movie figures. And I got myself a second Baroness. Look forward to reviewing that and putting it straight on my shelf. Next, we got the 1980s re-release. Leonardo... I did buy Mike Donatello twice, so I'm going to have to, on the 15th of next week, pick up Michelangelo so I can finally review this set. Because I bought the same figure I had twice. I might just sell it or keep it on, on card and sell, sell it. So, other than that, I'm not going to hang it up in the room. I might. It depends on how I feel after getting the whole set. But that has been my entire Toyapalooza. Pittsburgh's biggest pulp, pop culture toy show. It's hard to pronounce that. Really, for me, anyway. But yeah, I got a lot of good stuff, and I'll be getting some more stuff on the 15th. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.